Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our channel. First, many thanks to YLLAN for suggesting today's question. How many times are the hour hand and minutes hand of a clock perpendicular to each other within 24 hours? Let's discuss this question in two ways. First, as we know, the rotation of the hands of a clock can be regarded as a chasing problem. The second hand keeps chasing the minutes hand, and the minutes hand keeps chasing the hour hand. We start counting it from a certain time when the minutes hand and the hour hand are at the same position. Until the minutes hand catches up with the hour hand for the next time, they have experienced perpendicular positions for twice in total. One is when the minutes hand leads the hour hand by 270 degrees, and the other is when it leads by 90 degrees. In 24 hours, the minutes hand rotate a total of 24 rounds, whereas the hour hand rotates 2 rounds. 24 minus 2 means that the minutes hand has caught up with the hour hand for 22 times. Each corresponds to twice perpendicular positions, so a total of 44 times. In the second way, we take the zero o'clock as the starting point. The angle at which the hour hand rotates is alpha, and the angle at which the minutes hand rotates is beta. If the two are perpendicular, beta is equal to alpha plus 90 degrees, or plus 270 degrees. We also need to use another condition, the 360 degrees on a dial is evenly divided into 12 large scales. So the difference between every two scales is 30 degrees. The hour just passed is n o'clock, so the hour hand first rotates n times 30 degrees. If we use the hour hand to discuss the ratio of the time within this hour over one hour, it is alpha minus n times 30 degrees, then divided by 30 degrees. If we discuss it with the minutes hand, it is beta divided by 360 degrees. These two should be equal. That is, 12 times alpha minus n times 360 degrees equals beta. Bringing in the relationship between alpha and beta, we get that, alpha is equal to n times 360 degrees, plus 90 or 270 degrees, and then divided by 11. Within 24 hours, that means, alpha is between 0 and 720 degrees. So n can be any integer between 0 and 21. A total of 22 n, means 44 alpha. At the end, let's take a look at the approximated positions, where the hour hand and the minutes hand are perpendicular to each other for the 22 times between 0 and 12 o'clock, and the revolution is 1 second.